No doubt about it, likability is incredibly important in the workplace. Harvard Business Review did a study where they checked to see if professionals would rather work with someone who is likable or competent. Believe it or not, they picked likable. I believe both of those things are important and I love what Harvard Business Review said uh, when they said in the article that when you're able to combine both likability and competence, that you become a lovable star. One of the things that holds us back from sharing our ideas is this idea that we have to be likable. And I think this can be incredibly difficult when we disagree with the point of view that has been discussed in a meeting, or even if we're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation and we have an alternate idea to share. The best way to disagree with kindness is to be ready with a phrase on how you're going to present your ideas. And ideally, it's going to be a phrase that opens it up for conversation and collaboration and doesn't present your idea in a way that makes it sound like your idea is right and the other person's idea is wrong. So here's a couple things for you to consider. The next time you are in a situation where you have an alternate idea to share, simply say, I see it differently and then share your point of view. Another way that you can present a solution is to say something like, I have another solution I would like us to explore and share what your idea is on the best way to move forward. Both of these entrances to disagreement are going to put you in a position where the other person won't hear I'm right and you're wrong. It's simply alternate points of view that are up on the table now for discussion. Hope that you find this helpful and would love to hear your ideas on how you can disagree with kindness in the workplace.